Okay, so we are going to make a uh, drawing with the bill of materials for a assembly. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, one is you can go in your assembly and fill out bill materials first, or you can go and start drawing and fill out the bill of materials there. They link to the same information. It's fine either way. I can click here under assembly, there's bill of materials. And we give a description. Let's do one here. And I'll go uh, put more information in on the other one. So you can go here, type in the information for the description. That's what we're mostly going to have. Uh, and then we're going to go here and do new. The drawing. And if you forgot, you're going to go over to sheet one, you're going to right click on it, you're going to hit edit sheet, you are going to do a scale, which is printer paper. And if you forgot again, you're going to remove the ANSI large and go into title blocks and do ANSI A, which is smaller. And then it's all about the base. And realistically, I mostly just need an isometric view, uh, but I'll, I'll leave a full view on there just for fun. So move this over here, move this over here. I don't actually need all the views. Um, although, you know, while I'm at I'll just do it. Do the top view there. Um, all right, so for the bill of materials, it is over here, it's a parts list. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna say the doc document I'm gonna look for is the chicken assembly. And surprising, because that's the one we have there. I'm just gonna go put it in the corner. I'm gonna put the descriptions I've already typed in and there we go. Um, so bill of material, it's a useful thing. Um, I've made a million of them over my time as an engineer. Um, Every time that something got sent to the factory to be built, someone in a stock room had to go find the parts and uh, pull them out of the stock room to hand them to the guy who was actually putting the thing together. So everything had a bill of materials associated with it. This is just putting it in the drawing. Um, so to modify it once it's here, you're going to right click on it where it was highlighted red. And you're going to do bill of materials. Some people call it a BOM, but I always called it bill of materials and it's just redundant. Um, all right, a beak. Beak. Of the bird. Wow. The eyes haunt me. This is actually a comb. What it would be called? It's not. They're not ears. So it's a rooster comb. And it chooses who stays and who will go. Uh, she can be her claws. All right. And there we go. Uh, one more thing that we're going to do with this is we're going to label the parts. Uh, there is multiple tools you can use to label the parts. Um, here. Uh, I'm going to use a bubble one because I like it and it looks good. So we've got six items. We need to label at least one of each. So the main cabinet. Sure. Right click. The comb. I eat. We're going to try not to cross anything. Next clip. And door. Let's see. 
let's stay off of the stay off the isometric view. Avoid it. Um, got some feet, and they were made for walking. That's just what they do. One of these days, feet are going to walk all over you, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six. And we go through while we're here, and we're going to do annotate, and we're going to put a name and make it in the chase as well beforehand. That and the title is or the title of what the heck thing is the chicken cabinet. If you want to turn it in physically, you hit print and you print it out to make a space printer. If you want to say turn it in online, you know it never gets lost, you can just hit print to PDF, save it. The thing is the bomb, little bit. And then um, the, hey, no, it's totally printed out. Uh, and that's basically it. And that's the last assignment for the current project before I start. Give me lessons on how to make a wooden box.